In this section of this complete TypeScript course, we are going to learn about and understand decorators in TypeScript. And let's start by understanding what a decorator is and how to create a decorator in TypeScript. So in this lecture, we are going to understand what a decorator is and we are going to create a very simple decorator. On a very high level, decorators are powerful syntactic feature in TypeScript that allows you to add functionality or modify the behavior of classes, methods, properties and parameters at runtime. Decorators are essentially functions that are applied using at symbol before the declaration you want to decorate. So a very important point to understand here is decorator is nothing but a function but this function gets called at runtime. Let's try to understand decorators with a simple example. To understand decorators, first we are going to create a very simple class. I'll call this class as user. And in here, I'm going to create two properties, name, which is going to be of type string. And let's say name is John. And then let me also create another property called age, which is going to be of type number. And initially, let's assign it with the value 28. All right, and here I'm also going to create a constructor. So we have learned that whenever a class gets instantiated, its constructor is the one which gets called first. And inside this constructor, I'm simply going to write a console.log statement. And here I'll say user class constructor called. All right, so now whenever I'll go ahead and I'll create an instance of this user class, so for example, Let's create a variable and to create an instance of this user class, first we use new keyword followed by the class name, which is user. And after that, we use a set of parentheses. So what it is going to do is internally, it is going to call this constructor and then the instance of this class will be created. So if I save the changes and let's go ahead and let's open VS code built in terminal. All right, here I'm going to select command prompt. And now let's go ahead and let's compile this project. So for that, I'll say TSC space and I want to compile this project in watch mode. So I'll say hyphen W. Let's press enter. And the project has been compiled and you will see that when we are creating an instance of the user class, its constructor got called and it logged this message user class constructor called. Now let's go ahead and let's create a very simple decorator and as we learned a decorator is nothing but a function so before this class let me go ahead and let me create a function let's call this function as logger okay and inside this function for now let's simply go ahead and let's write a console.log statement and there let's say logging okay so here we have created a function now we want to use this function as decorator and we want to use this as decorator on this user class. So for that, just before this user class, first we need to use this at symbol because here we want to use a decorator. And what do we want to use as a decorator? We want to use logger function as the decorator. Now here we don't need to call the function like this. This function will be called at runtime. We don't need to explicitly call it. Okay, and here we have the error because this function this decorator function which we have created it takes some parameters and the first parameter which it takes is target and this target here it is going to be of type function basically in this case the target will be this user class but here we are specifying the type as function because if you remember we have learned that in javascript the class which we create behind the scenes it uses the constructor function syntax okay so we create a class in javascript or in typescript but behind the scenes it uses a function constructor for implementing that class and that's why this user class even though it is a class behind the scenes it is a function so this target here we are specifying it as function and this user class behind the scenes it is also a function so that's why this class will be assigned to this target and the second thing which we need to do is, so in order to use decorators, we need to go to tsconfig.json and there 
we need to uncomment this experimental decorators then only we will be able to use decorators okay so this we need to uncomment let's save the changes in this file let's go back to app.ts and here also you will see that that error is gone now always remember that this decorator it will be called first before the declaration on which we have used it and that's why you will see this message logging before the message which we are logging in the class constructor so whenever we are going to instantiate this user class before its constructor gets called this decorator will be executed and this decorator is nothing but a function and inside that function we are simply logging a message so that function has been executed first that's why we are seeing this message and after that the constructor of the class has been called and its instance has been created and that's why we see this message after this logging message now what will happen if i don't create any instance in that case also this decorator will be called let's see that let's save the changes and you see even if we don't create an instance of the class whenever this class will be encountered since it has been decorated with this logger and this logger is nothing but a function this function will be called okay and just to prove that for this target we are going to receive this class let's also go ahead and let's try to log that target in the console okay if i save the changes you will see that that user class has been logged here that means this target it is storing a reference to this user class all right so this is our first decorator now this is not the only way in which we can create a decorator let's say what we want is for the decorator we also want to pass some data from outside of that decorator let's see how we can do that in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions related to decorators then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day